External design. The stage after basic planning is external design. The information systems functions, based on the requirement specification considered in the basic planning stage, are decided in the external design stage. Also, the work that humans will do and the work that computers will do to achieve the functions are clarified. The work and documents of the external design stage are shown in the illustration. One. Confirmation of the requirement specification. External design assumes that the requirement specification has been considered and created in the basic planning stage. The requirement specification is studied. The requirements for the information system that will be designed are reconfirmed. After confirmation, the workflow for the new system is created. It is necessary to summarize what kind of processing will be done. Two. Subsystem definition and expansion. Next, a system is divided into subsystems. It is based on the created workflow with the efficiency of system development and the division of actual work taken into consideration. Three, screen design, report form design. Screen design and report form design are also called input output preliminary design. The interface between the user and the computer is designed. This is the part that the system user will come into direct contact with. Because of this, it may decide the value of the new system. Therefore the design should be done carefully, while thinking about the user. For example, if the screen design for data entry is not carefully done, error data will increase and the system's reliability will decrease. Also, the user may evaluate it as a difficult system to use. If the report form design does not provide necessary data, the reason for having the system itself may be questioned. A. Screen Design The screens that will be needed are considered based on the workflow, etc. They are summarized in a list. Also, each of the data items in relation to the screens, screen images, and so on is summarized in the screen specifications. It is also necessary to consider the user's skills and the operation method, such as dialog methods, at this time. It is necessary to consider who will do it, by what time will they do it, where will they do it, and what will they do in making the data entry screens. These results are also documented in the screen specifications. B. Report form design it is necessary to consider usage objectives, output cycles, output timing, distribution list, who and where the final user is, amount to generate and output content in report form design. It is important to consider when, to whom, and what, precisely and concisely, to output to help the users work at this time. The results are summarized in the report form specifications document. Four. Code design. Codes are used frequently in everyday life. For example, bank account numbers, 
student ID numbers, employee numbers, etc., are all codes. First of all, let us study the roles codes play in the types of different codes. After that, we will study about the design of codes. A. The roles of codes Used to distinguish individual pieces of data. People with the same last name cannot be distinguished apart. In other words, coding is necessary. Data is systematized to make it easier to manage. Being able to know the meaning of a data item just by looking at it makes management easy. Used in the standardization simplification of data. Entering names that are too long will cause unnecessary mistakes. In addition, using a code that is standardized for the whole system is convenient. B. Types and characteristics of codes. Sequence code. The method where the corresponding consecutive code numbers are assigned to items lined up in a set order. This code is suitable for items that do not have numbers. It has the disadvantage of being inflexible because interim additions cannot be made. Block code, classification code. This is the method where each data item is divided into several groups, with each group given numbers in sequential order. This code can express a large amount of content with few digits. However, it is necessary to consider how to add new code later on. Group Classification Code in this method, data items are classified into large categories, medium-sized categories and small categories. The coded digit is made to correspond to each category and consecutive numbers assigned. Each digit has a meaning in this code. However, when categories exceed 10 categories, it is necessary to improvise a way to increase the number of digits, etc. Mnemonic code The data item name or abbreviation is inserted into the code. It is easy to understand the meaning of the coded data. It is an easy code for humans to understand. However, it has the disadvantage because it requires many digits. C. Code design work. Code design starts with deciding on the data items to be coded. It is important to remember that once the decision has been made, it is difficult to change frequently later. Code data is not just used in the computer for processing. The users also use it, so frequent changes will cause confusion. It is also important to carefully estimate the amount of data that will be coded. The scope of use and the period of use also need to be made clear. Once these things have been decided, the number system is decided. The results of code design are summarized in the code design form. Five, logical data design. This process is also called the file database preliminary design. In this process, the kind of data and how it will be stored in the system are clarified. This is considered based on the interface information that was made clear in the subsystem definition and expansion. It is 
also based on the input-output data considered in the screen design report form design and the code design results. The design results are summarized in the file specifications. The user cannot directly view files. However, they are important elements in the information system. It is also necessary to consider the expansion of any existing systems in the design. A. ER Analysis In these days, database is frequently used in addition to files. When the database which is shared by all of the organization is designed, it is necessary to Investigate all business activities of organization to identify required data, then analyze and classify them. ER, Entity Relationship, Analysis is used for this purpose and the contents of data are put on ER diagram focusing on entity and relationship. B, ER Diagram the data listed are concrete items I like customer name, telephone number, address and so on. In the R diagram, these data are summarized as customer and are expressed as an entity which is drawn as a rectangle. Then each data such as customer name and address are treated as attributes of customer entity. In general, an entity is expressed as a table of database and attribute is expressed as a field in that table. Even conceptual thing which has no real data can be treated as an entity. A relationship captures how two or more entities are related to one another and is expressed using lines and arrows. These lines and arrows are used based on the cardinality of relationships as follows. One. One to one. If one sales representative manages one customer, then the relationship of sales representative and customer is one to one. In this case, a straight line is used to represent it. 2. One to many. If one sales representative manages multiple customers, then the relationship of sales representative and customers is one to many. In this case, an arrow towards multiple customers is used to represent it. 3. Many to many. If one sales representative manages multiple customers, and at the same time, multiple sales representatives manage one customer, then the relationship of sales representative and customers is many to many. In this case, a bidirectional arrow is used to represent it. Six. Review of the external design At the end of the external design process, the design work up until that point is summarized. The summary document is then reviewed. If the results of the review are alright, external design documents are created and the review results are attached to them. These will be continued in the following internal design process. If there are problems, the external design process continues until they are eliminated. This kind of review is held at the end of the external design, internal design, and program design processes. The review meeting is called a walkthrough. The purpose of a walkthrough is to find design errors at an early stage 